a little bit, huh? Yes, we're going to sweep this off lightly so you don't destroy the joints or dig into them with your broom. Kind of sweep it lightly. Then we get this stuff here. It's too dry to put back into the joints, so we will pick it up. We will pick it up and uh, get rid of it because this this will not bind together if we put it back into the joints. It will eventually peel out of there. So I'm just going to clean this corner here so people can get a good idea what it looks like. And okay, then I'm going to start sponging. Now the so sp after we have this uh, cleaned off, we'll get the bucket with a sponge and start in. Now this is what kind of, um, we see a lot of um, jobs where this isn't done, they don't sponge, but what's nice about the sponge, it gives it a nice polished look, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Take and what you want to do is, when you're sponging, go across the joints. Don't go a lot with the joints. You do a lot better job by going across like this. As you can see, it does polish the joint. You want to get the whole stone, make sure that you remove all, and the concrete. all of the concrete that is there. Now, you can also go at an angle across like this, but you can see where it polishes the joints nicely. Comes out much better. Exactly. Now, they don't need to um, worry. Um, when it dries and stuff, there'll be some sand and there'll be a little gray film afterwards, right? That ultimately, when you do the final cleaning with the 600, do you get off all this stuff. Then you take a hose and after you put that 600 on, that cleans a light gray film that is left behind. You get rid of that plus the little sand that you wash out of the joints. And what's important is that they make sure that the joint is pretty well, just a little bit depressed from the stone, right? Yes, that doesn't you hurt know, at all. Just a little bit depressed and it comes out pretty even across. It gives nice uniformity. And um, and then we'll show them how to clean it then tomorrow. It takes 24 hours. We have to wait at least. Before. This same application that we're doing here with these three, four stones, that is, you want to follow throughout on the patio doing the same thing. And it takes 24 hours to let it set before you were going to wash it off with the yes. masonry cleaner. So there's no danger of you washing out the joints. Uh -huh. Now one other thing, uh, we do have a kind of a cloudy day here. How long would you suggest um, the joints have to be sponged and dried in, in order so that the rain won't damage the joints? Well, I think uh, you want to make sure that you don't have rain on these for about 8 to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. If you should find that there is rain coming, take some Visqueen or some tarps and cover up your work uh -huh. so it doesn't leave or stain the joints. Right, if we or wash them out. After we sponge all this, if we see that the rain may be coming, um, we'll check the forecast a little bit, then we'll just throw a tarp over the whole pad and then it'll protect, protect the joints. It. Yes. All right, so like we said, just continue this all the way through and uh, you'll have a really nice looking um, joints that even a lot of professionals don't do. It really gives it a nice touch and uh, we'll follow up tomorrow with the um, cleaning 